Well, the Center for Democracy and Development has identified European collaborators as a major obstacle to winning the war against corruption by the federal government. At a round table on corruption in Abuja, a non-resident fellow with the center, Mr. Matthew Page, criticized the role being played by foreign countries who provide a safe haven for looted funds. The director of the center, Mrs. Idayat Hassan, who also explains or also explains that the war against corruption will remain a mirage until the issue is tackled. Who um, is a British Nigerian? The UK and US helps fuel corruption in Nigeria. I think, as many of you know, when we talk about corruption in Nigeria, the focus tends to be on what's going on here, what's going on with the government of the day, at the federal level, at the state level, the, the cultural aspects of corruption that, that Nigerians wrestle with in their day-to-day -day lives. But very, very often, the part of the story that is missing and the part of the story that I am very keen to elevate and to include in the discussion of corruption in Nigeria today is the role that the international uh, financial and property markets um, governments around the world, not just the US and UK, I don't mean to pick on them, they just are the, the biggest recipients of this type of, uh, type of wealth flowing out of Nigeria. This is an important part of the narrative about corruption in Nigeria that is often lost. Until we actually find a way of ending the illicit financial flows out of the country, tackling corruption might just be a small part of, our, uh, of what our endeavor will actually be.